Monty, move up! Zero, this is section one. Enemy position is destroyed. Over! <laughs> look at these weirdos. Yeah, look at the army brats playing soldier again. Did your daddy teach you how to play army? <laughs> Where's your dad know it? Is he going to get himself blown up? Save me. Can we go? Yeah, I bet your dad's a rubbish soldier. Probably going to step on a landmine or something. Or shoot himself in the foot so he can go back to being with his weird kids. Stop it. Or what are you going to do? Tell your mum of us? Jamie, please can we just go? Yeah, Jamie, do what your brother says. Obviously, run away like you coward dadas. <coughs> Jamie, no! Why can't you just walk away? Why does it always end up in a fight? Look at the state of you! It's hard enough your father being away and then you try to make a scene every time somebody makes fun of you. It's sticks and stones. Next time somebody makes fun of you, just walk away! Why should we walk away? They say it! Daddy should never back down from bullies. Our dad never backs down. That's why he's going in Afghan fighting, isn't it? Not backing down. Dad would Go never... to your room now! plunged into the river when the bridge suddenly gave way. An investigation into the cause of the collapse is now underway. Another British soldier has been killed in an explosion in Afghanistan. The incident happened during a patrol in the Helmand province, where the UK forces have seen some of the fiercest fighting of the conflict. The MOD has released no details, but the soldier's family have been notified. And on a cheerier note, the south of the country was treated to a spectacular light show in the form of a wave of shooting stars. I'm here to speak to you about your children. Really? Yeah, really. I want to see that they get what they deserve for doing what they have to my son. Get what they deserve? Look what they've done to my son! I want them dealt with. Now, I know you're an army family, but I don't care how untouchable you think you are. That is no excuse for your kids to go around terrorising the normal children. OK. And I think they should come out here and apologise. And I'll be right into the school. No. You're going to listen to me for a minute. First of all, you want to get the truth out of your own son before coming to my doorstep. It's hard enough for my kids knowing that the dad might not even come home without your son reminding them of it every second. The normal kids, as you put it, are constantly baiting my two, making horrible suggestions about my husband and myself. I know my kids act out of hand at times, but I'll deal with them as I see fit. Well, you obviously don't deal with them very well because they wreak havoc when they run into the normal... the other kids. My kids have tried to fit in since we moved here. It's children like your son who've made that impossible. We bought a house here, off camp, so they could get what you call a normal life. But how can it be normal when they're being picked on every other day? And you talk about how untouchable we think we are. You ever think about how untouchable we feel, knowing that my husband, their dad, might not even come home? Now I suggest you get off my doorstep.
Thank you, Angel. Welcome. So sweet. Oh, soon done.